Body of Messiah, I just wanted to take a brief moment for a very short lesson to encourage you. Um, this lesson is just going to be called Messiah's Body. Nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God. This is going to be taken from Romans chapter 8 verses 37 through 39. And the scripture reads, but in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, or things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of our Most High God that is in our Messiah Yeshua. Body of Messiah, the scripture is meant to encourage us. When you read the setting for Romans chapter 8, when you see where um, Shaul, where Paul, is basically talking about all of the trials and tribulation the children of the Most High God are going through. He wrote this scripture and was inspired by the Ruach of Elohim. Our Most High God is letting us know through these words that nothing on this planet or off can separate us from his love. We are living in some rough, tumultuous times and Sajako Bible studies just want to encourage many out there to not lose hope, to not lose their faith. We see people fighting um, against uh, in the political realm uh, for gun control or abortion uh, rights, so-called. But I'm going to remind you to keep your mind focused on the Most High God. What about Him? Turn to Him and trust in Him. We have all these shootings that have happened because of those who are overtaken by this spirit of Baal worship that's attached to white supremacy. Then you have those who are plain outright were overtaken by the demonic who have shot up a school of, of elementary children. And then our nation having the audacity to fight over whether or not the life of an unborn innocent child should be allowed. We are in tumultuous times. Do not forget about the Most High God. Do not be discouraged. Do not lose hope or faith. I'm going to share a couple of songs that um, I'm going to attach to this video that I hope that when you listen to the lyrics, uh, one in particular that says God's love is worth fighting for because he's advocating for us. Okay. He sent his only begotten son to die for our sins. All right. And then another song that's talking about this specific scripture that's talking about God's unstoppable love. So hold on while I get that so I can share these songs with you. This first song is, is named Brian Courtney Wilson. And his song is called Worth Fighting For. Listen to that song in its entirety and especially uh, all the way to the end because it lets you know body and side, that we're not only fighting um, to go through this tumultuous time to stay in tune with the Most High God, but we're fighting also for the next generation. And when you hear this song all the way to the end, it'll remind you of that because you're going to hear a voice that's going to basically um, warm your entire heart to make you clearly understand that we're not only fighting um, to stay in tune with the Most High for the sake of ourselves, but also for the next generation. And then this next psalmist is named Kim Walker Smith. And there's a song probably from about 10 years ago or more that's called Unstoppable Love. And she beautifully sings out the lyrics that are directly linked to the scripture that we just covered, Romans chapter 8, verses 37 through 39. Body Messiah, I pray those songs that we're going to attach is encouraging for you. Um, also, just don't lose hope. 
we have um, some lessons out there, like a UBP lesson 16, and uh, where we remind people, don't get caught and lost up in the sauce uh, with all types of various things to advocate for and forget about God. Because it's a scripture that talks about all of your lovers, Jacob, have forgotten you. So he is our first and foremost focus. Um, there's nothing that's going to bring us through these times but the Ruach of Elohim and being guided by his standards. We have lessons out there like UBP um, lesson 18 that talks about, you know, the times of Jacob's trouble. We chronicled that throughout history. And we always make sure that we understand that God has always made a path of hope. Well, body and Messiah, this is the end of this brief message, and I hope it encouraged your spirit um, to do what is right and keep your focus on him because he's our only hope, the Most High God. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I always say, may Adonai Elohim cover and surround you and your family, shield and protect you all, and envelop you all in this shalom peace. Goodbye.